Hey everybody, Chris here. Well, after a nice recovery over the weekend, we saw a little retracement and that was expected. But things look like be turning around at the beginning of the week. So I'm gonna show you on the charts what I'm looking at. Overall, the crypto market seems to be in a good position. A lot of the FUD and the negative news seems to be behind us. And generally, Bitcoin still trading sideways in the low 40s. So we're going to see how Bitcoin trades. Ethereum certainly had a big push during the week last week. And Dogecoin somewhat following along, but isn't always in lockstep with Bitcoin and Ethereum. Remember that this is my new Chris channel, so you may have subscribed to me before. Would appreciate a new subscription to the Chris channel. Please check out the link in the description below for Weeble, Coinbase, BlockFi, and other associations I still have with platforms. Weeble still giving away $5 worth of free crypto if you join. I recommend you check it out. I think it's a really good platform. So Dogecoin, a lot of good news uh, circulating about Dogecoin. We're looking at the Robinhood wallet still rolling out. Uh, all good, uh, still hinting at acceptance as retail uh, payment. D McDonald's, maybe. I don't know. I don't give that a lot of cred. I just don't think McDonald's is going to be accepting Dogecoin. Eventually, they may get around to accepting cryptocurrency through some kind of BitPay or other uh, larger uh, platform for accepting cryptocurrencies, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at the charts and I'll show you what I'm looking at. So we'll start with the Dogecoin chart here on the 30 minute. And it looks like from yesterday uh, when Dogecoin dropped back down to about 1175, we've had good trading action coming back up. So that's what I see with Dogecoin trading back over the 200 EMA and the 50 MA on Dogecoin as I'm recording this now over 12 cents. So that is a good sign as we begin the week for Dogecoin. If I look back at the four hour chart, the four hour chart shows how Dogecoin was trading. And I'll show you this uh, sloping uh, resistance line in a minute, but that was Dogecoin in this downward a descending triangle was hugging that last week the top of that finally broke out and that was the recovery that we saw for dogecoin uh, at the beginning of the weekend again retracement was expected but now turning back around so uh, on the four hour we're over the 50 moving average but still under the 200 ema where this really comes into play with a lot more <laughs> Uh, a better view of overall Dogecoin is the daily. And the daily we see Dogecoin is still down. And uh, this, this downward movement of Dogecoin was not in step with Bitcoin. Bitcoin has been trading sideways. This is the Bitcoin chart between 37,000 and 45,000. This is since late January. Bitcoin has been trading sideways. Bitcoin is over its 50 day moving average, still under the 200 EMA, but over the 50 day moving average. Ethereum also over the 50 day moving average. Ethereum has been between 2,500 and 3,200 trading sideways since probably uh, late January. So that's Ethereum. This is Bitcoin, both trading sideways, but Doge down. We know Doge, as its meme coin that it is, it needs these big catalysts to get it uh, trading upwards. We certainly saw that back in January. Huge pump in Doge. However, it was followed by large short sellers. And the short sellers pushed it back down. That's what we see happening when Dogecoin gets a big run. It needs more sustained uh, momentum and continued buying pressure to stay up higher for a longer period of time. We look at the relative strength index here. 
Dogecoin has not been over 50 since early February. This sort of meandering below 50 is how Dogecoin ended up getting pushed down. We need the relative strength index to come up over 50 and stay over 50 for a period of time. Otherwise, we're going to see a repeat of what we saw back here in January, where Dogecoin is going to make a bit, bit, a bit of a run, and then it's going to get pushed back down. That has been Dogecoin's history. We see it happening again and again. And are we going to... Uh, are, are we going to come back down into the 11s? Hard to say right now. I uh, would like to see that with the, the positive news of uh, overall cryptocurrencies that we would see the trading of Doge going forward, at least continuing to settle and come up a bit and follow this upward new support line. That would be great to see for Dogecoin. Overall, I think, you know, this dip we saw back to 1175 here uh, over the weekend may have been that final last dip. Uh, we saw a big tail coming down again uh, late last night. And, but overall, the trading seems to be going in a positive direction. So where does Dogecoin go from here? Well, certainly uh, we need to see uh, higher supports, Dogecoin trading forward, can't keep dipping down into the 11s. We got to see good, solid, like 1230, 1250 support so we can make a march back up to 1360, get by that resistance, and then head back up higher. That's what we're looking at for Doge. I don't know when the SpaceX Doge 1 rocket is going to take off. Uh, there's been some conflict, conflicting reports about, about it, and I'm still waiting for Elon Musk to let us know what's up with that. Uh, more and more retailers still talking about cryptocurrency, talking about Dogecoin, and even legislators talking about accepting cryptocurrency as payment from Arizona to another a United States congressman going to push for cryptocurrency. It's good to see that growing support. I think this is all good. Overall for crypto, I think we're still early. We're still very, very early in this whole digital currency scene. And those that are trying to upset what's happening with, with crypto to trying to get people to sell, get out of crypto, crypto's not going anywhere. Crypto's been here before. 2017, 18, there were bad years for crypto. A lot of you probably weren't holding crypto back then. And if you just look at the charts, you'll see it was pretty bad. But here we are again, 2022. Things not looking great at the moment. But again, trading forward, I, I just don't see Bitcoin doing some huge drop, which would pull the whole crypto market down with it. I don't see that happening. There's so much institutional support now for Bitcoin that... I think it's really steadying the crypto market. But we'll see going forward. Let me know in the comments below what you think about support for Dogecoin and where Dogecoin will be trading going forward. Give the video a like. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. I appreciate the support. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.